We were also pained to discover the role of private for-profit contractors in the tragedy that we all know as Abu Ghraib. Its images are seared into the minds of people throughout the world, yet very few people realize the role of Kaki and Titan and its interrogators and interpreters. As our team dug deeper and deeper into the investigations and the contracts, Kaki and JP London kept appearing over and over again. The Taguba report, the Fay report, the Human Rights Watch report by the numbers, all made crystal clear that Kaki had played a significant role in the torture. As Pratap Chatterjee, head of Corporate Watch, has stated, Kaki was using information technology contracts, listen to this, through the Department of Interior. And again, his quote, so either somebody was in a big hurry or they did this deliberately so that nobody would ever be able to track this down. Kaki does a lot of work directly with the Office of the Secretary of Defense. And even after all these investigations, there were no consequences. In fact, Kaki continued to receive more contracts and no oversight. Kaki and JP London were hired to process cases of fraud and incompetence by other contractors at the same time they were under investigation. Now this is a corporation that had profit from the war. JP London personally made $22,249,000 from his stock and salary in 2004, and they were being hired to oversee other contractors. We need your help. We need your help badly to fix this. There's some wonderful American lawyers who are representing some of the torture victims of Abu Ghraib. We have them in the film clips that you're not seeing today. These lawyers have overwhelming evidence of Kaki and Titan employees personally and directly who are involved in torture. The lawyers have the facts, they have documents, they have photos. The Department of Justice refuses to interview the torture victims and tells the press they can't find them. Well, I have the phone number with me for the Center for Constitutional Rights that I'll be happy to pass along if the committee can help in making something happen here. Why is the Justice Department refusing to prosecute corporate criminal activity? I know in school we studied the role of justice, and this certainly is not a definition.